What's up, everybody? I hope you're doing good. It's a beautiful day. It has been a beautiful day. I think we're leaning toward the end of the day. It's still bright and hot and beautiful. Thank you very much for stopping by. You know you are appreciated. We like each other. We already know that. I know it's been a couple of days since the last time we saw each other. Thanks a lot. Um, it's a great pleasure to have you. Before you start, this is your first time. We're going to like each other. There's no doubt about that. We are family, okay? Subscribe, click on the button right here for some stuff. And we are going to do this so we can push our video further. Okay, I see you from all over the place. You already know that. Jamaica, South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, Angola, Sudan, Uganda, Rwanda, all over the place. Thank you. So today we have some very good news. We are continuing about what's happening in Africa right now. Some really interesting things are happening and I think it's very important to share with you. So in West Africa, three Western African countries have come together, you know, they've come together, they've united to create something very strong. It's very much like a union of countries coming together. Three African countries have come together because they had to find a way to protect themselves because we know they just want to keep Africa under the radar. They want to keep Africa poor, submersive, submitted. So three West African countries ruled by military junta, you know which one they are, have signed a mutual defense pact. They have signed a mutual defense pact. Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso signed a security pact on Saturday, promising to help each other in the event of any rebellion, insurgency or external aggression. So in the event of any rebellion, insurgency, or external aggression, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger will help each other militarily. Bravo. I think this is, yeah, it deserves to be applauded. Because very much in Africa, we are very ready to part ways, very ready to divide, very ready not to work together, very ready to destroy one of our own, not very ready to come together for something good for each other. So Mali, Niger, and Burkina Faso have signed a security pact on Saturday promising to help each other in the event of rebellion or external aggression. The Lukpakpo Guma Charter will create the Alliance of Sahel State. Alliance of Sahel State. Alliance of Sahel State. Or else AES, like the AEU, you know, the Union, it's like European Union, but, you know, three African Union, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the Mali leader Asimi Goita posted on X, formerly known as Twitter. He says the aim is to establish an architecture of collective defense and mutual assistance for the benefit of our people. Great stuff, fellas. I understand and I'm 100% sure you understand too. It's necessary. We have three countries, Niger, Mali and Burkina Faso, that are working very hard to release themselves from the shackles of colonialism, neo-colonialism, and they are being fought by other African brother countries. Okay, So we all know some of these countries were colonized by France for many, many years. They went through sufferings and all that stuff you can imagine. Many, many years after colonialism, they pretended to be free. Okay, we're going to let you free, be free. But the reality was very different because most of the people in those countries were living under the shackle of France, unfortunately. France as a country having an open door to these countries to exploit for business, for many other things, with no limitation. In the meantime, many people in those countries were suffering, living in poverty, not leading any companies, not owning any necessary things in the country. So these three countries, Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso's leaders, were clearly not working for the people. And it came a moment the people rose up to topple those president. Now, because these three countries, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger, have toppled a president, other African countries, formerly ruled by France, have been fighting them very harshly. You know of the ECOWAS, the 15 countries of the Western African, who work together as an alliance, they've proposed to go and attack and destroy these countries because they are being ruled by their own people. So basically, you are free, but you can't be that free because you're not working with the French. You have to work with the French and be democratically elected. If you are accepted by us, then we can accept you. If not, then you are not legal. You are not legitimate. But this is a separate country. This is a free country. They can make their own choices. The people can choose what they want. And these people have chosen what they wanted. Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger. Now, these other countries of Africa don't like it. Because they've been menaced so many times, they've been threatened many times of attacks, 
They've been threatened to be bombed. They've been threatened to be beaten up. They've been threatened to be crushed. They have come together as outsiders, right? You know, I mean, if you're in a group and everybody want to beat you up, you know, you three victims all along, what do you do? You come together. You listen to each other. You know what, fella? I think we should be, uh, you know, create something, the side group of countries so we can resist in case somebody come and attack us. Now, what do these countries have in common? These countries have terrorists in those countries. Terrorism exists in this country. How did terrorism start? Terrorism started when they decided to go and bomb Gaddafi. Mohammed Gaddafi was an African leader. You have probably heard about him in the past. Great leader of Libya. He did tremendous things for his country. He helped his country move forward. We're going to talk about him some other time. Great guy. But they did not like the good things he was doing for his country. He wanted his country to be free. In his country, nobody paid the tax. Just imagine. Just imagine. All your money is your money. You don't need to pay tax. You know, you don't pay tax. Just imagine that. All your money is your money. In Libya, they paid no tax. If you want to be in agriculture, they're going to give you machines. They're going to give you trucks. They're going to give you a teacher to help you learn how to be a good agriculturer. Yes, they give you even free land. That's what they did. Libya was very dry. Gaddafi brought in water from the sea in the most emphatic irrigation project ever. The biggest ever. He brought in water in a dry country, but they said he was a dictator. He was not good for his people. People of Libya, I'm never going to be tired of repeating it. Whenever they needed help, let's say you need a special intervention, a surgery in Italy, for instance, okay? You're going to fly to Italy. You're going to be taken care of in Italy, your location, your food, your treatment, and everything by government. You don't need to pay a dime. You don't need insurance. None of those are your insurance. Oh, no, you don't need that. Free of charge, the government pays that through Gaddafi. But Gaddafi was not a democracy. Okay, they did not like that. They don't want you to discover that there are other ways of living goods that are not necessarily democracy. They want you to believe in democracy. But democracy is not for everybody. So the Libyan president is trying to show the world there's other ways of living beside democracy. That's why they went and bombed him. By bombing him, they incorporated rebels and terrorists. And these terrorists, since NATO destroyed Libya, are running rampant between Niger, Burkina Faso, and Mali. And that's the reason why Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger brought in the French, hoping they're going to help them fight. Something they clearly created themselves. Now they've had enough. They've decided we don't want you no more. We want to rule our own country, do our own things in our own way. And because now Niger felt very threatened by ECOWAS countries and only getting support from Mali and Burkina Faso, Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger have come together to create the alliance of the Sahel state so they can look after each other and be strong together. So congratulations. I think this is great news. I really like it. I appreciate it. We also know that Burkina Faso's military junta ordered the French embassy defense attaché to leave the country. Yeah, the French embassy defense strategist to leave the country because they say he's got submersive behavior. Yeah, submersive behavior. So he's very malicious. They can't quite, you know what I'm saying? They've asked the French representative of defense from the embassy in Burkina Faso to leave. Why would they say that? Because they obviously have some data. They, they can see what he's been doing. Something, you know what I mean? And France very clearly has said, the letter did not elaborate on what Emmanuel Pasquier did to prompt his expulsion. It said the defense section of the Burkina Faso embassy in Paris had been closed with immediate, immediate effect. So people from Burkina Faso clearly can see what the French are plotting, okay? This is not stories. It has happened in the past. People become cleverer. They learn on how you operate. Now they've asked the French attaché of defense to leave the country. So let me know how you feel about this. Uh, yeah, this is great news, I feel. Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger coming together like this as one force, as one people in the alliance of Sahel state to combat anybody, any entity that tries to fight them. They said this alliance will be a combination of military, economic efforts between the three countries. Our priority is to fight against terrorism in three countries. Tout atteint à la souveraineté. Any attack on the sovereignty and territorial integrity of one or more of the signatories will be considered aggression against the others, and it will entail a duty of assistance and relief on the part of all signatories. 
de toutes les parties. So it's not just terrorism. We know that. It's also against anybody that dares put their foot on those countries. I think that these, the, yeah, they must be destroyed completely. Let me know how you feel about this once more. Uh, drop your comments. Is this a good thing for Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger to come together? We already know there's ECOWAS, 15 countries. Who are they working for? We don't know because they went to the European Union asking for help to come and fight in Niger. So who are they working for? We don't know. Now, these three countries, Mali, Niger, Burkina Faso, coming together in the alliance of Sahel state. Is this a good endeavor? Or is this going to be the beginning of them fighting each other? Now, why are you sending so little soldiers? You need to send more money. Why your soldiers don't have proper guns? Do you think this can work? God bless.